as you know, because I've talked about it so many times, it's I'm almost obnoxious about it, but Stone Mountain Art Center, uh, that's perhaps my favorite venue on the planet. And uh, they're struggling like every other small venue because they're not able to have shows except now they are, but hold that thought. So I went there on my birthday because they just started doing on their porch, like limited seating, socially distanced, the whole you know COVID-19 protocol. But Tracy and I went and sat on the porch and had a feast, an absolutely glorious meal. And then Carol Noonan herself, and you have to remember, like I was a huge fan dating back to my college radio days in New Hampshire of her old band, Knots and Crosses. So I was already a huge fan before I even moved to Maine. So Carol herself comes out from a distance with her mask on and sings happy birthday to me. And I just about died and she got teary and it was a beautiful moment, which is a segue into she is doing a show Thursday night, this Thursday night, July 9th at the venue. It's out in the big barn area. It's limited to 50 people, you know, the whole deal. You gotta wear a mask when you're walking in and when you get up. But when you're sitting at your table, it's cool. you don't have to have the mask on because everyone's going to be socially distanced and you'll hear Carol Noonan perform. And so that's a beautiful thing. And it's a small little thing to just stick a toe back into the live music pool in, in the safe way. So, yay. It'll be nice to, to be back there in that space and, and hear music again. Yeah, absolutely. Getting back to normal. Okay, show number two, you've got the Ballroom Thieves on Friday, July 10th. Yeah, so formerly a Boston area band, but they've been in Maine for a couple of years now. They are a trio, um, Devin, Kelly, and Martin, and uh, they uh, put out their third record on Valentine's Day called Unlovely. And not so fun fact, uh, two days after that, I was walking over Casco Bay Bridge to meet them. I was gonna interview them in person. Most of my interviews are done over the phone, but I was gonna interview them in person. And uh, I had a strange thing happen. I got bit by a dog <laughs> so bad I had to go to urgent care. It was a fluke thing and I still love dogs. I have a dog, but the interview got canceled. But I finally, uh, as did their entire tour, uh, you know, a month later with COVID, they were gonna have a big CD release show at Port City Music Hall. That got canceled, unfortunately, uh, their whole tour. This is a band that tours festivals and shows all over the country uh, most of the time. They're a touring band, nationally known, and that is how they make most of their living. Uh, but they're going to do a streaming show. It's part of the um, Conclave series. So the State Theater this Friday night, July 10th, 8 p.m., and you can make donations to the band, and they're going to donate some of that to, to one of the organizations that's happen helping bands and small music uh, venues stay afloat. They're a folk rock, rock trio. I absolutely love them. I pretty much love every song of theirs I've ever heard. And uh, that'll be a really uh, nice show to stream. From an empty state theater, but the sound of these things, absolutely, and the camera works, absolutely stellar, first rate. Yeah, it'll be nice to see them again. And a name we have not seen in a while, Rustic Overtones. They, as far as I understand, they were about to release an album right before COVID hit. Is this new yeah, music? Yeah, I, I think there's been a little pin put in that, but that, understandably, that's fine. Uh, but they're, you know, just the fact that they're even working on anything is great. So they've got two shows, Friday and Saturday night, July 17th and 18th. I have a feeling those are going to, I checked right before, you know, we got on this call and there are still tickets left, but I, I have a feeling they're going to sell out. Uh, Ghost of Paul Revere sold out four shows there at the Narrow Gauge Cinema in Farmington. This is a drive-in outside show at kind of like a drive-in movie type of um, scenario. Uh, 95 bucks for a car load, but you can have up to four people. And my whole reason for going, it's four words, because it's Rustic Overtones. I mean, they're just a tremendous band, uh, arguably one of the absolute first-rate best bands in Maine. And uh, it's a great way to see them. And I have a friend who went to one of the ghost shows and she said it was great. She felt safe. The show was great. Uh, it was a wonderful evening. So drive to Farmington. I mean, what else are we doing? 